Welcome to another S&P Futures Day Trading Recap on an Apex Evaluation Account. Apex has extended its sale once again. From now until March 29th, you can sign up for your own Apex account with my link in the description and use my coupon code for 80% off the first month and 80% off all recurring months. I identified a decent second entry long setup when price seemed to bounce from the bottom trend line with enough room to run to the EMA. Unfortunately, I get stopped out pretty quickly, and in hindsight, I see that my entry was at the upper trend line of a lower time frame downward channel, and this setup may not have been as good as I initially thought. We'll keep this in mind going forward. When price breaks out of a downward channel, I get the chance to fade this breakout on a second entry short setup with a nice entry near the EMA. There's some consolidation after my entry, but I stay patient and I'm happy to eventually scalp out for a nice profit. I actually miss a great second entry long setup as it starts taking off without me. I decide to enter with a limit order at the same entry point that I would have entered with a stop order. After getting filled, bulls make another attempt to bring price up, but it ultimately falls back down and it gets stopped out for my second loss of the day. I wondered if I just shouldn't have used the limit order since I had missed the first entry, but I think this is ultimately still a valid setup because my original profit target wasn't hit yet, and even if I had taken that initial entry, the result would have been the same. Honestly, I thought today was a pretty solid trading day despite ending in the red. All the setups I took were decent and I stuck to my two loss limit, so I'm pleased that I followed all my rules. The account is now sitting at 50,189 just slightly over our initial balance, which is honestly pretty impressive considering how close I was to liquidation at one point. Given my strict two loss limit, small red days like today will probably be fairly common, which actually makes me think that I need to capitalize on my win streaks and try to take more trades if I haven't hit my loss limit yet. As long as my trades meet my entry rules, the more trades I take, the more profitable my edge will be. My risk rules were set to limit my losses, so I don't think I should be limiting my profit by stopping trading before hitting my loss limit. I might also try to record some live commentary as I'm entering trades, so y'all can hear my real-time thoughts instead of the hindsight analysis that I've been doing so far for my videos. I think this would also be good practice before I start live streaming my trading sessions, which I definitely plan to try out this year once I become a little more comfortable with price action trading. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe so you're notified of the next time I post a trade recap. In the meantime, I'll continue posting daily profit and loss updates in my channel's community tab.